What's going on guys, Vital Poke here, and I got a battle for you guys versus Tom, again. But this time I'm using a Trick Room team, so he's going to lead off with Mega Man, and I'm going to lead off with my Fuzzy Wuzzy. And he's going to go for Protect, which is just obvious, so I'm going to Trick Room. And actually with like Whimsicott's uh, Prankster ability, Trick Room's awesome, because you get a priority Trick Room. I mean, that's, that, that's fucking sweet. But, so then I'm going to go for the Thief, and I'm going to take away his Life Orb, and he's going to put me to sleep, which, that's that's no fun. That's just, that's a cheap shot, you know? So I'm going to send in Wee Man, just knowing that I could take, like, three of any of his hits now without the Life Orb. And so with Miracle, I can just, I can destroy Mega Man shit. So he's going to go for the Bug Buzz here. I was like, it ain't no thing, because I'm bulky, son. And I'm going to go for the Mirko, and it wrecks Yan Mega. He do, he can't take that again, so he he just doesn't like it. So he's going to switch out, and he's going to go into his Dragonite here, and the obvious switch, so I'm just going to go and lay up my rocks now. Which is kind of, like, the timing's kind of bad, mainly because Dragonite's out now, so I can't get rid of the multi-scale. So I'm going to have to fodder something out, because... I don't have anything to take an attack from Dragonite, so I'm gonna have to go into Fuzzy, just cause he's already asleep and he he did his job for the most part. So Slowbro's gonna come out, and I got this one from Wild Chase's database, but I added it. I think I changed something about it. I don't know. But so I take the Outrage like a boss, and I'm just gonna go for the Psychic to break the multi scale, and. I'm sorry, this this battle was like three, four weeks ago. It's just one that I had backed up. But anyway, he's going to go into Chandelier, and I need another fodder, so Wee Man's going to have to come out. And Chandelier's going balls to my face, which isn't fun, so Wee Man's dead. And now I'm going to go into Hypno, knowing that I can take a special effect of Shadow Ball just because I'm bulky. And then I can go and I can set up my screens and I can make everybody else come in without having too much pain. So that's what I'm going to do. He hits me. I put up a trick room, so making it that I can attack first next turn. So I'm just going to put up my screen. And then he's, he's just going to finish me off with a shadow ball. And that's, that's just okay, I guess. You know, no harm, no foul, except there is harm, considering how the amazing Hypno died. But whatever. Now with the Trick Room up, Casper can come out, and Casper is going to just claw at people's faces, because that's what he does. And Shadow Claw, boom, bitch, fuck you, Chandler, you're dead. You won't take a little night-night. Mama said knock you out. And so now he's going to send in Dusknor, and this thing's bulky. So I was like, you know what? Super effective. Maybe I can do a shit ton of damage. Let's just hope. And boom! Claw you to the face too, bitch! And oh my lord, that does a lot of HP. That was... Haha, -ha, fuck you, Dusk Noir. You ain't got shit. So many shadow punches me. My HP goes down. But I live it! It's like, haha, -ha, more fuck you, Dusk Noir. You ain't got shit on Casper. What you... What you doing? And so he's just gonna switch out, knowing that this is not a favorable... Favorable matchup. So he's gonna go into Steelix. So I'm just gonna I'm gonna shadow claw. Not very effective. I take life orb recoil. And I probably should have switched here to get up another trick room with slow brew slow yeah, slow brew. He's not brewing fear. That's not appropriate. So put in slow brew so I can get another trick room up so then Casper can come and s potentially sweep. But I don't because I'm dumb. And He's going to curse, and I think, yeah, I tricked and I got the lefties, so I can get a little bit of health back, even though it was just kind of dumb. I misclicked there. I I don't know what I, I, don't know what I was thinking. I was smoking the kashif. I need to stop watching Sucker for Jessica's video. That's that's the moral of this story. So he's going to go for Gyro Ball, and Slowbro's going to come out and take it like a boss, because that's what Slowbros do. They just... They just take things and they live. So I'm going to scald him. And it's going to do a lot of HP because Steelix doesn't really have a whole lot of special defense. But then again, Slowbro doesn't really have a whole lot of special attack. Or at least not this set. 
but he's gonna earthquake, and I take it because again, so that's what Slow Bro's job is, just to take shit. He takes it in the mouth and all around his body. Not the peepees though. That's gay. That's weird. Awkward silence. But anyway, he's gonna go into Rampados, and I'm just going. I'm going to what? I'm going to survive because I'm a slow bro and I'm going to scald him just because he's a rock type and fucks his shit. And he got the burn, so I was like, haha, fuck your shit some more. And then he dies. I was like, yes, slow bro, mission accomplished. And then I don't know what happens next because I didn't review this video because I'm dumb. Oh, he's going to go into. Dragonite, and he's gonna outrage, and I guess I just didn't have anything else to switch in, so Slowbro has to die, and he doesn't survive this attack, which is sad, because Slowbros are always just supposed to survive, but I don't. So he's gonna go for outrage, and I'm pretty sure I can live one, so that's why he's in here, and he might actually just be my last Pokemon. I actually, I think he's my last one. That's not good. So I Psychic, get the crit, probably mattered, don't care though. And I'm sitting at 91 HP, not good. He's going to send in Mega Man, which is just going to die from rocks. So that's that's alright. And then now he's down to Dusknor, and Dusknor is just annoying. Because now this just gets a little bit stally, and it's sped up here in a little bit. So he's going to rest to get his HP back. And I'm pretty sure I recover. Do I recover? Do I recover? Do I recover? No, I psychic because I'm dumb. Well, actually, maybe it was just to get some damage on him after the rest. I don't know. I don't know what I was thinking. But, so I hit him with the psychic, and he's still asleep, and he goes for the sleep talk, and now it's sped up, and he gets the rest, and that's where my recover is. All right. So, now that I'm looking at a little bit better HP, I'm just going to... It's just like a stall war between sleep talks and my psychics hoping that I can attack him. And he gets a toxic in here somewhere, which is which actually was a misclick because he thought I had magic guard, which I actually am supposed to, but I'm dumb and I put regenerate on him because like I said, I'm dumb and just dumb and more dumb. So that actually cost me the match, is just that residual damage and Ugh stupid dumb but so yeah it's just back to the psychics and the sleep talks and the poison and the leftovers and the pain and the stupidity and the ouchies and the fact that I just don't like this because it's not fun it just hurts and I just had a sad face the entire time this match was going cuz I it was it was bad so he's gonna shadow punch I'm gonna psychic. The only way I could have won is if I got like three crits in there, but even then, Dust Noir probably could have lived it. Well, guys, hope you enjoyed, and peace!